Is it still positive or negative? No, like, does it matter which way? If you go on the right of the line or the left of the line? If you make a slope triangle? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to explain this problem for Catherine because she might have this exact same question. Uh, the student asks, if given these two points, you know, does it matter how I find my slope triangle? Because remember, I told you about slope triangles. You can find the slope. Remember, slope, if you guys remember, was our change in our y coordinate over our change in our x coordinate. Slop. Right? So we look at our two y coordinates. Remember, a coordinate point has an x and a y coordinate. So therefore, we look at. Excuse this interruption. Yes. Do you have Andrew Major? Yes, I do. Would you uh, please send him to the main office for a dismissal? Okay. Thank you. So if you look at this problem, we have a y coordinate in both of these problems, right? We have a 1 and a 5. Yes. Kayla, could you move up here, please? So therefore, if you look at this, to go from 1 to 5, what did I do? Did I go up or down? I went up, right? So you can say, I went a positive 4 up. Then to go from 0 to 2, how far did I have to move over? 2, right? And I moved 2 to the right, so therefore it's going to be positive. Now, that was going, that was going from left to right. Caitlin, move. Okay, let's see, right there on my desk. That was going from left to right. Yes, I'm sorry. You. From left to right. Now let's look at what if I went from right to left. So if I go from this point to this point. So from 5 to 1. So if I went from 5 to 1, I had to go down negative 4, right? And then if I go from a 2 to 0, I went left 2, which is negative 2. Well, negative divided by negative is still going to be a positive. Right? So it doesn't matter which way you go. All right, and the other way we like to look at this, if I was going to do a slope triangle, you guys could do a, a triangle that looks like this, right? So I could say positive 4, positive 2, or you could say negative 4, negative 2. But either way, whenever you do the ratio, it's still going to give you a slope of positive 4, positive 2. Okay, so that's how you, um, that's how you determine the slope that's positive or negative.